In this video, we're going to be discussing how you stop products from being advertised on Google Shopping. The first thing we need to do is establish the products that we want to stop from being served. We do this best from reporting. Now, in reports, Google has a number of predefined reports. They're up here in the navigation under predefined reports, and we're going to look at shopping and then item ID. So this will give us a list of all the products, and I've filtered it for a particular campaign. I've filtered here for the campaign containing the letters CA. Here it says campaign name contains CA. The way they're set up in the system is that is our Canadian campaign. So we're only seeing here products here from which are being served as part of that Canadian campaign. Unfortunately, excluding products within Google Ads is slightly cumbersome. You need to do it by spe specifying a particular product group in Google Shopping and then excluding that product group. So if we go to shopping campaigns and then click on product groups, we'll see the product groups for that particular campaign. This campaign has been subdivided in by category. And then what we'll need to do is we'll need to subdivide those categories yet again by the item ID and then not select a particular item ID. Now, unfortunately, it's not the case in Google that you can exclude a particular product. You just have to include everything else and not that product. So that means that if you go down this route, you will have to ensure that all the products that you want to advertise will have to be selected at all times. If you create new products, you'll have to go into the system and reselect them. To exclude a product, we need to divide the product group into subgroups and then exclude part of that subgroup. So in this case, we have taken this, this campaign, CA-Smart, and the main product group has been edited to be made up of brands. So it's divided into brands. Each of those brands can then be subdivided by other groups. So if we take our leapfrog group here, it's been subdivided into products. So if we edit that, we can see that it's been subdivided by item ID. We could you know, do by condition or product type, etc. We've just chosen to do item ID because that's what we want to exclude. And here we have selected all the products we want to include, but we have not selected the product that we don't want to include. So that product will not be included in the list of product groups or sub product groups for this brand. But instead, we'll, it will we'll fall under everything else in Leapfrog and will be excluded. If we want to exclude a whole brand, we need to click on where it says Max EPC and click Exclude. And that will exclude the whole brand. 